All right, this is our 4016 turn lock. The difference between our 4016 and our 3016 turn lock is the 3016, you can see here, has prongs on this side, whereas the 4016, which we're gonna show you now, has the riveted outside. So the prongs, you have to make cuts and bend in. The riveted version, you rivet in. Some people think it's a little bit more secure. I may agree with that. And it also gives a little bit of a different finish. So we are gonna show you the 4016. So to begin, we're gonna take what we're gonna call the female side. So this is gonna go on here with this washer and then the male side will be here. And the idea here, here is that this is generally the top flap. So the flap comes over the bag, the turn lock component comes through and locks in. So I'm gonna show you a pretty basic way of doing this, almost if this is the first time you're doing it because over time you are going to develop some of your own efficiencies. So what I like to do is do a quick measurement. So the opening here is about 12 millimeters by 16. And we can cheat a little bit. You've got a pretty good bleed on the outside. So 12 by 16, start with the width first. So 12, six is in the center, make our center notch, and then 16, so we're gonna find eight Make a notch here and here. So we've got our general shape. I'm gonna cheat a little bit on the outside to start our cut. So it is round. If you're able to get a round cut, that gen tends to work a little nicer. You're probably gonna to have to come through this a few times. It may help to Go from the backside too, once you break through. We're working with about a five ounce piece of leather here. All right, so we've got our hole. Don't worry if it's not clean enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check. So I put this up against it, clean through there, and the outside edge, there's no cuts going over there either. So we've got our hole. Next step is I'm gonna place this over the top. Make sure I can see straight down. Add a little bit of pressure, make the indents. So we've got our four holes, and now I'm gonna come around and make the notches. So this is gonna be for the prongs to come through. These are tapered, I'm gonna show you this. So you can see it's shorter at the bottom, wider at the top. So the top, the grain side is gonna be need a little bit more width on the cut than the underside. Okay, so we'll do an initial test. We're probably gonna to have to go again. You wanna start small. All right. Okay, as you can see here, we've got some gaps. So we need to create the top cut a little bit more, and actually on some of them, we need a little bit more width on the bottom. So, okay. So, come through here nicely. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the washer. Now this has got indents coming around it. The indents go down. So these are a little bit short, so to push them with your finger is gonna be a little bit difficult. So I recommend the screwdriver trick. So you come over and bend it down and in. Now I'm working on a soft surface here. If you're working on a hard surface, I do recommend putting a piece of leather or fabric underneath. That way you're not gonna scratch the top side. Now, if you're working with fabric, I do recommend using interfacing in this area because fabric will tear, particularly when you make little incisions like this, that over time that'll continue to rip. So interfacing acts as a non-terrible material. So that'll give you support on fabric. All right, so we've got this side installed. Next is the turn lock side. So on this part, we don't have to cut a hole. What we're gonna do is we're gonna center it if you've got an all grade, if not, you can just make two little marks here. Just keep it centered. So right in the center, one and two. All right, so I'm gonna use a hole punch. We've got a rotary punch here. I'm gonna make our two holes here. Okay, so we've got the washer. This will go on the back side. Okay, so we've got this, 
curve it through. We'll do one side at a time with the cap. So I'm, not, I'm just going to give it a little pressure. This is going to hold it in. So that clicks. We are good. So this is a seven, or sorry, a nine millimeter post. So you're going to want to make sure that you've got enough of the rivet going through um, the leather, but really you need to account for the thickness of the brass plate and the backside as well. So here we are. All right, so we are prepped to set. All right, so now we're gonna set, we've got a couple of options. We've got, depending on the tools that you have, you, if you have your own anvil and setter that might work, the thing with ours is ours are custom made to fit our rivets, so the cap and the backside are gonna fit, finish uh, nice and cleanly. So what I am gonna use, so I'm actually gonna use the basic setter. So this is our seven millimeter cap. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place that on the seven side. Couple hits. You'll feel it. You can also hear that. That's set in there well. The other side. Pretty light. So, there we have it. Those are in. Got our other side. So, if you think about it, this is the inside of the bag. This is the flap. So, as the flap comes down, it closes and locks. So, so this is the 416. What I want to show you is the different version. We call this the 3016. And the 3016 is all prong backed. So it's got a washer and prongs on the back on both sides, whereas the 4016 has the riveted back. So maybe a little bit cleaner, particularly if you're not doing a liner on the outside. Um, it's also a little bit more secure. Rivets, just being what they are, make it a little bit of a more secure piece. So that is how you set our 4016 turn lock.